greetings, greetings, and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Wow, here goes another month, and here we are approaching summer. Um, and I hope you are doing well. Today we're going to be talking about pain, going from pain to gain, all aspects of pain, and I'm going to give you tools. As a matter of fact, if you want to, you can even text HEAL, is it HEAL or is it PAIN? Um, text HEAL and uh, you will be directed to a page that you can download this information that I am talking to you about. You can also calendar and have a session with me, a discovery session. As a matter of fact, today I'm also going to be talking about this incredible session that I had with one of my favorite humans in this world. And he is Dr. Sirus Yazdi. So before I go any further, I hope that you are doing well. And uh, let me make sure that I can see everyone and making comments because this is going to be a wonderful session. So, you know, as a clinical hypnotherapist, uh, my mission as a certified clinical hypnotherapist and stress management consultant with over 20 years of experience, having gone through massive massive transformation of my own going from panic and anxiety pain uh walking on eggshells even managing my own yo-yo weight uh to being where i am is now to help individuals who feel overwhelmed anxious and undervalued go from pain to gain by eradicating self-doubt and heal their past traumas through my 3e method so what do i mean by going from pain to gain is everything that you have and that you are this is one of my quotes you needed you created and perhaps you settled for but you no longer need to because a part of my 3e is what happened in the past is now your history Today, you have the opportunity and the choice to create a better story for yourself. So, stop hanging on to the past stories. Now, here's one of the things that I like to talk about. What is uh, pain? Uh, I've turned pain into an acronym, which is P-A-I-N, and going from that acronym to GAIN, which is the G-A-I-N. So personal growth and development in itself is a transformational process, which improves, improvements are made in your physical, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual realm. So by saying that, it's everything is a process. Everything we do is a process. Timeline is a process. Managing your, your day is a process. So although I'm not as much of a process system that I called myself I'm not, you know, I realized I'm more process systems and I've created so many processes. To me, it's creating uh, programs. It's writing like writing a blog or something. So I wonder if your perception of who you are and what your abilities are is only a perception and what others perceive you to be is different. So let's talk about some pains that we have. One of the perceptions or your own reality, the pain is this is why they come to me as a hypnotherapist, is feeling powerless. Now, when do you feel powerless? To be powerless is being without the ability to influence or have the power. It can be commonly mistaken for feeling helpless or hopeless. 
okay and it can be difficult for you to overcome this if because of a feeling attached to that so there are two ways two things to consider and what you can control and what you cannot control so let's go to the next one which is the a feeling powerless and then the next one is when you are feeling uh, anxious having anxiety and yet feeling anxious so in a way anxiety uh, ang anxiousness is a feeling of being overwhelmed and apprehensive it's possible that you are feeling worry which is something negative from the future that has not happened and yet you're creating it in the present that in itself can create anxiety because it's from the outside but what you feel is anxious so an anxiety attack builds slowly and that's how it attacks and if not treated uh, treated it can turn into a panic so everyone feels anxious now and then but what we do with that anxiety is something that is the tools and the techniques I have for you what does the I stand for the I stands for a feeling insecure which is an emotional insecurity that refers to the the instability of a person's emotional state it can be traumatic event um, something that you may have felt long time ago maybe inferiority in a relationship or something that may have caused a long time ago um, as a kid in short insecurity sets when something threatens your ego as well as um, it could have been in the childhood or recent experiences but when we delve deeper we see there's a rippling effect that it started long time ago here's the n n is for negative thoughts when we get consumed with all that negative thoughts negative thinking refers it creates a pattern of negative talks about yourself and of your surroundings so when you're not feeling good about yourself and you are in that negative mode believe it or not no matter who is around you you will even have negative thoughts about other people and about things everything is like dark it's dreary nothing is working right and it's something that we all engage in you're not an exception but how you come out of it the tools the techniques that I have I'm going to mention so allow me to say that what I do through hypnosis is take you from feeling this pain feeling powerless insecure feeling uh, anxious feeling negative to the gain part which is growth which is gaining a more control making active decisions to begin your own journey of personal growth and what it means is developing this transformational process another process that you have the tools and the techniques to feel better physically mentally and emotionally right that's the growth process so feeling open feeling better to coming to acceptance accepting yourself the act or state of accepting yourself physically mentally and emotionally liking who you are yeah appreciating yourself and comes from all things that it's about you and even from your past feeling worthy feeling appreciated hmm to that part of you the I which is the inspiration of feeling independent you know from insecure to inspired from feeling pain feeling powerless to growth from feeling anxious 
to feeling acknowledged and accepted right and from you know the insecure to feeling inspired and independent so that you can stand up for yourself that when you feel moved by a situation you it steers something inside of you and you say oh, I feel so inspired to do this I feel inspired to f whatever so simply when you, that inspiration inside you is stimulated aroused uplifted and you feel this surge of goodness and exhilaration stir up in you you want more of that so we are moving from what is negative down down world spiral to an up world spiral and going into a growth level feeling more joy inside and the end is for the nurturing nurturing is tend to your needs is to supply yourself with nourishment and care for your feelings what you want what you feel everything so this nurturing is to communicate with yourself with kindness the ways that brings playfulness and joy and even movement and always remember in order for you to heal within you're only one thought away from transforming from that pain level to the gain so as we go into this aspect hello Sadat John hi Adrian how are you it's so good to be I mean when was hi Susan long time no see uh, when was the last time that you were in this pain mode if you can only remember now here's why I'm saying this because so many think of hypnosis or hypnotherapy to be something oh my god I'm gonna give all my secrets away uh, am I gonna be sleep am I gonna be quacking like a dog or bark like a dog none at all just this week I have the honor and the pleasure of hypnotizing Dr. Cyrus Yazdi who in the past I've also done a dialogue and we did a live Instagram and we he interviewed me because his specialty is managing pain and being an anesthesiologist in the Chicago area and working in the hospitals we did an interview it is on YouTube I will put the link in here so you can also go and see it it's so natural so what is it that I helped him with is managing his migraines and when he said Lisa would you do this live and his question is it even possible for you to hypnotize and help me through this process uh, over the internet by all means yes either zoom or live yes it is possible so why I'm saying this because hypnosis is an internal process it is an internal process and not an external force so when I take you into that beautiful realm of trance state into that zone and I guide you that's where the word mesmerism came about because of not only uh, by mesmer that was many many centuries ago Frederick Mesmer he did this and mesmerized folks and then the term hypnosis that came about that it was like wow it's a sleep state but it's not sleep it is a trance state that we go into in our own mind so tapping from our conscious state into the subconscious mind right and I've shared this many times where this pattern this entire format your subconscious mind that stores everything even knows where your pain is where it started 
what was the culprit, what was the trigger, and I guide you to that level and by questioning and you will see this entire transformation and it's it is a transformation because taking you from here to another time and a place where we call it timeline therapy included with hypnosis the suggestions that you can easily tap to that very moment and find the beginning perhaps um, you can pinpoint where the pain started you can pinpoint where your patterns or habits began and that's exactly what I do so I will put the link in here you can even go and find uh, on YouTube uh, mine I will be sharing it on my YouTube if you prescribe you will also get to see my other links and all the YouTube's uh, sessions that I have done you will get to see testimonials how I have helped someone release another headache just like that yes in the middle of a convention right and she said oh I have a headache I gotta go and take um, a, a an Advil or something and I said do you mind if I were to do something and give me five minutes for me to work with you and in five minutes just temporarily release your headache so you can continue with the seminar and she said by all means yes and right in the middle of the seminar we were in Vancouver and I took her outside of the, uh, the seminar where everybody was sitting 300 women we went outside she sat down in a chair I came and right there and that we had so many people coming and going coming and going you know it's a seminar you can't stop people but what happened in that five minutes I took her from A to Z okay that's what I call it and rapidly took her to a state of relaxation that nothing else mattered in hypnosis you hear everything you are quite aware as a matter of fact your awareness is heightened and yet as I guide you to another deeper level you get to focus not what's happening around you but what's happening within you so that's the difference between hypnosis and meditation we become so precise and locally focused on what we want versus everything else around us so that's exactly what I did um, again text 818-221-2797 text heal and you will go uh, to a landing page that all this information is right there and you will have a link that if you want to do a discovery session with me a complimentary discovery session by all means it's right there and we can connect and I am here to help you so um, hey Steven hello how are you my dear thank you for being here so helpful thank you uh, is this something that I can download by all means yes 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 all you have to do is what I said just text heal h-e-a-l to 818-221-2797 thank you for the reminder again going from pain to gain is a choice sometimes there are folks who still hold on to that pain because it has a secondary benefit now what is that secondary benefit some people uh, the pain even though you might say why would anyone hold on to a pain true we don't do it consciously we do it subconsciously because for whatever reason that pain that you although you think it's the worst pain I'm suffering through this why would I want to keep it the secondary gain of that growth of feeling uh, acceptance or feeling acknowledged 
It might be by someone else. It could be you are being tended to. It could be that there is more attention given to you. Maybe not by you, by someone else. And for whatever reason, magically, that your subconscious mind says, Ooh, I like the attention I am getting. So I wonder, if you think more deeply, is it possible? You see, this happens even with children. Children who fall and hurt themselves, believe it or not, you can, you can check. If you have children, uh, you might even remember it, that kids do this. They say they fall. And as they fall, the first reaction is to cry, right? But that very moment when they fall, it's like looking up. And if something, all the, if they're in a playground and the kids are still playing and they fell, they get up. They look around. And if the game is going on and they want to be a part of that game, they run back into the game. But if they fall and the pain is not, okay, it's not serious and it's just they fall. And if they look around and there's folks that it's like, and the mom, especially the mom is watching the game or something and mom goes, oh, and the kid starts crying, running to mom. It's like, take care of me. So they get attention. Here's what happens. If mom turns around and says, oh, sweetie, that's nothing. Did you just hurt the ground? Did the ground hurt? Or did if you hit the table or the chair, did you hurt the chair? Did you hurt the table? Oh, it's okay. Let's wipe it off. Go back to your game. And if that's what happens, the child goes, huh, okay. This was not that bad. So the memory that stays in the body or in the psyche, it's like, you know what? I'm not here to make a big deal out of this pain. I can get back to the game and all good. But if mom consoles and loves and hugs and does everything, then the child remembers the muscle has memory and the psyche and the subconscious remembers. If I fall, if I hurt myself and I look around, I know how I can get attention. Remember, that's the first few times. And then the subconscious remembers that as this is a great pattern. I'm going to lock it. I'm going to save it and I'm going to use it when I want it. Fast forward, being much older as an adult, when something happens and it doesn't have to be tragic, it can be something minuscule, it can be something minimum, and guess what? That little tantrum child remembers and the subconscious remembers the pain and says, when I was in pain, I got attention. I'm holding on to this pain. As long as I've got the pain, look, I'm getting attention. Look, I've got more people taking care of me. Look, oh my God, let me make this stay. So recognizing the part that this method is no longer working for me and that's not how I like to have attention because I'm a grown man or a woman and I can deal with it better is how you can if it is again allow me to say if it is psychosomatic and it's not a secondary gain and it is not truly something medical that you really have to take care of it because when pain comes, it is there for you to pay attention. And you go to the doctors or you take care of it. 
if you've got a broken finger or something like that it is not for you to just kiss it well you need to go tend to it have uh, have it taken care of put everything in there to stabilize that finger or hand or whatever needs be so i too have had broken bones fractures uh, fractured as a matter of fact <laughs> i'll tell you this my sternum right here there is a point that if I were to push it right now, <laughs> oops, it happened. So it's just like there is a part of pressure on my sternum. If I were to push it and it just goes, you know how you crack your knuckles? It cracks. So before I was an assistant to attorney, here is sharing a part of my life before i even got to the law firms before i was even married when i was 19 years old i went and became a private investigator and from there i got hired uh, i did private investigating for about two years um yes following people and doing all that and then i was hired by may company before May Company, it was Robinson's May. That's how many Pac-Mans this company has had. So I was hired by Robinson's May and I was part of their investigative uh, private surveillance. And that time, so many years ago, I can't even remember. At that time, I was much smaller and thinner so because we didn't have um we didn't have what do you call it okay surveillance cameras i was i was the surveillance i was put in through the ac vents and i would crawl to a point that it was that one vent was overlooking like one cashier and if we had a uh, if we thought that that cashier so there was an embezzlement or money was missing from that cashier from that place I would be one of the watch people and I would stay there for probably about two hours three hours during this person's uh, shift in order to see everything so for three hours I would be laying right there through those vents and then crawl back but one time how I hurt my sternum was chasing someone and at that time they had clothes racks and as I was chasing this person who was stealing the clothes rack he just took the rack and threw it back pushed it back so he can run and the rack hit me at my sternum and I got flat out now that memory that trauma a phys physical trauma that affected my sternum every time I feel something that it's the fight and flight believe it or not it affects my sternum and I have to push it to release that pressure truly I'm sharing something that I hadn't shared in many many years by releasing that pressure it gives me a sense of relief I can breathe better and m continue my day so I no longer need someone to come and tend to me I no longer need to go to the doctor but I have found my own tools and techniques just the same way as I hypnotize myself and I do the root canals with no anesthesia I have learned this to be my tool to release pressure from my sternum so it's not affecting my digestive or my breathing and I can go on so I've turned my pain into my hands that I have the tools to constantly be in the game I hope this message was beneficial to you again by all means text 818-221-2797 with the word heal H E a L and I'll be more than happy to give this PDF to you if you want the PDF you can even schedule a session with me we can have a discovery session and go from there and let me see 
Oh, okay. If you have any questions at all times, contact me, message me, DM me, and I will also place the link for you to see this incredible video of me hypnotizing Dr. Sears Yazdi for his migraine headache. It is now time for me to say goodbye. Thank you for being here. For those of you who are present right here, and for those of you who are watching this on a replay, thank you. Just hashtag replay. Let me know what I can help you with. And until next week, God bless you and may the universal light surround you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.